Okay, welcome to lesson 8.1, our last unit in grade 7. In, we are and we're starting our geometry unit, so at this point you should have your geometry set with you. If you do not have a, pro sorry, a compass and a straight edge, you're going to have some difficulty because that's what this is all about. Now, we're going to be doing construction with uh, your compass and your ruler and your pencil. Make sure your pencil is sharp, make sure you have a good eraser, and make sure that you pay close attention to what I'm doing. Being accurate is by far the most important thing, and if you're not accurate, then what you're trying to draw will not work out. Now, why do I want to teach you geometry and to construct stuff? Well, believe it or not, it has a lot of applications. If you are building a house, for example, and you need to make sure that the house corners are square, uh, and you're building a house which is, you know, fairly large in terms of like 25 meters long or 5 meters, you know, 15, 20 meters long, uh, you want to make sure that you don't mess up because when you go to put the sheeting in and the walls in and everything, if your house isn't square, when you go to do that stuff, it's just it's not going to work out well, all right? The people who are doing it are not going to be able to put the floors on straight. It just it's just going to be a mess. When you're doing gardening and you want to lay out the land a landscaping so that you put your gardens in the right spot, they're the proper shape, or you want to arc a pathway through a garden, uh, and that kind of stuff is is also very important. If you're laying out a, a road. Um, in terms of putting down roads with, with curves so people can go around corners. This is all part of geometry on a very, very large scale. Now, it may not seem like you can apply this stuff to, to a, uh, you know, a little compass and stuff, but the reality is you can take a compass, which is nothing more than a very you know, one stick with a large rope tied to it, and you can make huge circles and huge arcs. And you can just use spray paint cans on the ground and create you know, roads all over the place and stuff like that. So this does have uh, applications for you in the future. So we're going to be doing this with a compass and with a straight edge. You're not going to have any difficulty with it in terms of that. Um, it may be more difficult for me because I'm trying to draw this on the smart board and I'm not as, as, as good at it uh, with the tools on the smart board, but we'll see how it goes. So you're going to start out with parallel lines. Now, lines must be exactly parallel, so drawing by eye is not going to be allowable. You're not going to be able to pull out a, street, a sheet of loose leaf and just trace on the little blue lines and say, here you go, Mr. Reedy, it's done. I'm going to want to see proof that you've done it, so I'll probably make you do it mostly on loose leaf, that sorry, on, on paper that has no lines on it. All right? And you're not allowed to use either side of the ruler and just trace one side and then the other. Okay, That's not what we're getting for. So let's review what are parallel lines. In grade 6, we did do parallel lines. You may not believe it, but we did do it. And we want you to understand that a parallel line is simply two lines that when you extend them, they will never cross. Okay? If you extend two parallel lines, so when, when extended, extended means lengthened in both directions. Parallel lines never cross. The most common example I think is always used is railroad tracks. Right? On railroad tracks, the lines must be staying, must stay exactly the same distance apart, they must be straight, and they must never cross. Otherwise the train falls off the tracks. Okay? So if I was to draw an example of it, what it would look like is something like this. You'd have a line and you have another line. And the distance between here and here, here and between here and here, these would be the same. It never changes. No matter how far you go in this direction, or here, or this way, it doesn't matter. The distance between those two lines remains exactly the same. Okay. Now, to show parallel, we have something called embedded arrows. And that's what this is right here. Those are embedded arrows. So you stick an arrowhead inside the line. Now, if you have two of them like that, that means that they are parallel. Sometimes on a drawing, you may have more than one set of parallel lines. So you may want to put in a double. When you see two, that means look for the other one that has two. Those two lines are supposed to be parallel. So where have you seen parallel lines? Well, you can look all over the place. In this classroom right now, all the bricks, the mortar between the bricks, that's all uh, parallel. If you take a look at the joints in the linoleum uh, on the floor, that's parallel. The table edges, 
on the front of you and in, 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 uh, in the front of the table. Those are parallel. Of course, you could put down railroad tracks and stuff like that if you wanted. So how can we draw two parallel lines? Well, I want you to take, I don't know if you can do this at home, but you can try it. Take your pencil and your ruler and compass, and I want you to see if you can come up with two ways to draw a parallel line, okay, where it is absolutely perfect. So if I were to measure it right down to one one hundredth of a millimeter, that you would be able to tell me that it actually is correct. So give yourself a try, give me a second, and try it. All right. You're back, so let's take a look at it. I think I've actually kind of screwed up here because look at my next lesson here, next page, and it tells you how it's going to do it. So, um, all right, at least I don't have to redraw it. What you can do is you draw the first line on a piece of paper using a straight edge, and that's what this is right here. You draw your first straight line. Now, using basically your protractor, you put a protractor on this, and you'd want to make sure that. Got my protractor. Now this is pretty big, so I'm gonna. There is a way to shrink it. And you would basically put this like that, put a tick mark above it, and then move it out of the way, or move it over. I guess is a better way. Move it over here, and do the same thing over here. Now, why am I using a protractor? Well, believe it or not, if I use a protractor it guarantees that the line is actually going to be perfectly 90 degrees. If it's not perfectly 90, it could be on an angle. And if it's on an angle, then it wouldn't be perfectly parallel. So then what I would do with my straight line, sorry, I'll just do it this way, is I would mark lines like that. And then using my ruler, I'm going to then measure this distance and mark it, measure the distance here, and mark it, and then join the two lines. That will create two parallel lines that I know 100% certainty are parallel because this distance here and this distance here is perfect. If I want to triple or, or, or you know, make sure I have even better results, I could put in three. But that was one way of doing it. Use a protractor, make sure you're doing a 90 degree angle, and go for it. Now what happens if I don't use a 90 degree angle? Well here's an extreme example. If I, don't, if I measure this one at 90 and I put the mark there, but then I move, measure this one, well, this distance here would be right there. Now look what happens when I put my straight line through it. Now here's that, look at that. I mean, that's extreme, isn't it? So you can see that they're going to cross, aren't they? So this would mean that the method of just not using a protractor and not marking off the 90, right? If you did use a protractor here, this line's supposed to go up that way. This is why we use a protractor. Now, is it going to be visible to your eye? Probably not. Okay? But this is one method. Now, there is another method. This is using your, co your compass. Now, your compass, what you do is you set your compass to be the distance you want to be up between the two lines. So if I wanted this distance from here to here to be three centimeters, what I would do is between my compass and my protractor, I would set my distance. Uh, sorry, guys. Here we are. This is what I was worried about. He doesn't like doing this. There we go. There's your. Set the distance between here and here as three centimeters. Okay. Once I've got that, take and put the point here. And then, obviously, I'm going to have a problem with this because it's not three centimeters. But I'll set it to match this line here. Okay. And then what I want you to do is we'll just draw it. Okay? Then you move this over somewhere else on the line and draw it. And move it over somewhere else on the line and draw it. And if you notice, you know, either my drawing, my, my compass won't set accurately, but yours will. But you can see that I've got the tops of the arcs right here. You take a look at this one here, the top of that arc, the top of that arc, and the top of that arc. They're all exactly the same. So when I put my line in, if I just make sure that it just creases the top of that arc, then it'll be exactly the same for each one, three centimeters. So there's a second way you can draw parallel lines. Now, when I ask you to do it, you're going to have to do it this way. All right? I'm going to be very specific. And if you don't do it the way I'm asking you, and you don't leave these types of lines 
right here and right here. If you don't leave those lines in place, and you don't shoot, those are called your construction lines, if you don't show them to me, then I'm going to know you faked it. All right? So you're going to have to be able to do it by this method right here, measuring it off. Get rid of this thing. All right? And or using your compass and using this method. You're going to have to do both. For this point in the class, I'd like you to stop and do a couple of examples and then give it to someone to measure. Okay, and see if, they, if you're as accurate as you think you are. Okay, so now the next thing is what do you do when you want to draw a parallel line, but now we have a little bit of a, a little bit extra thing here. This time the parallel line has to go through point C. All right, now how do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you a set of instructions. I've got them written out in your notes here so that you have no, no difficulty. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, if you take a look here, is you're going to set your compass so that the point on your compass is on the B, the very end of it, and this point, the other one, is going to be on the C. Now, I'm having difficulty with my wonderful compass. All right, so I'm going to take this, come on. Rotate, you silly thing. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is. Come on out there. On that C point right there. Okay? So now I've got the point on B and I've got the line on C. Okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw an arc. Now that arc should go through that point right there. If you take a look on step one, you see it's exactly what I've done. I've got the radius set. Here's the point of the compass, here's the pencil, point of the compass, the pencil, and you're going to draw this arc. You'll leave it there. Now, step two. Okay. Don't change your compass. All right. Leave the radius the same. Move the compass over, and now I want you to take the same compass we had here, move it over, it lands on this point right there. Okay? And then draw again. Look at that. Perfect. All right? Now, once you've done that, go on to step three on the next page. Using your compass. Place the point of the compass on point D this time and pencil on point C. So what I'm going to do is you're going to put your point here. Come on here. So can put the point of the compass there and move the pencil till the pencil is right there. Now once that's done, move the whole thing over and put it on here, your pencil, and mark off that distance from here. Then when you take your pencil and you move it away, so your compass, you move it away, you're going to have the mark here at point F, right? So now we know that the distance from E to F and from D to C is the same. Now, take and draw a line through E and F right through there. I'm supposed to go through those two points. All right? Now, how did I do this? Well, the instructions are very simple and straightforward. You're going to have to go through and watch this two or three times if you're at home and you're not sure what I've done. So just rewind the recording and go through and do it again. Put a piece of paper beside you and follow the instructions step by step by step as we go through until you can do it without me telling you what to do. Okay? So I'm going to go to a flat piece of paper and I'm going to do one more of this last part here. So we'll see how that works. Okay? So what I need to do, I need a line. Here's my line here. And I want to put a line, a parallel line, that goes through this point right there. Okay? So I'm just going to do a quick little lock down here so that nothing will move. Okay, so now I can't move anything. It won't move. Okay. Now, this is what you're going to do. Okay? I'm going to take my compass. All right? And I'm going to put the point on here. Make sure it goes right on the end. 
I'm going to spread this out. Uh oh, I got a problem. I don't think my compass is long enough. No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change things just slightly because I got my point, my dots in the wrong spot. So I'm going to take and unlock this. I'm going to move my dot over so it'll actually fit within my compass. Okay. So if you have, you may have to do this with yours. I'm going to lock it in place. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil. Okay. And I'm going to put my pencil, spin it, so that this gets right on that dot right there. Okay? All right? Now, once I've got that in place, grab your pencil and draw your arc. Okay? Now, don't move or change it. Move it over. All right? Get that? Draw again. So far, so good? Now, we're going to change our compass. We're going to take our compass. Oh, sorry, just messed up there. We're going to move it. I'm switch it around. Come on, silly thing. All right. And now I'm going to put this here on this corner. Uh, now I need to know the distance down this line I need. So I'm going to change this until I get the distance down that line. You see right here, I can mark it off. See how it goes right to that dot? And move it over. Put it here, and I'm going to put the line there. Okay? Now, get rid of this. All right. Take your straight edge out. Line it up. Should line up perfectly. Take your pencil and draw along your straight edge. And you should you'll move this out of the way. And now you have two parallel lines. Okay, so there's your instructions. Like I said, do them and do them and do them because you're going to be given a test question, a quiz question that says draw a line using the ARC method. Draw a line using your ruler and a, and a protractor. You're going to have to do this. Okay, so practice it until you can do it. And we will see you in the next lesson.